state of tobacco use among America's youth. And the news is mostly encouraging. And it's also kind of mixed. So yeah. we're going to dig into this. Joining us now to discuss it, Brian King, the director of the FDA Center for Tobacco Products. Brian, thank you for being with us. Good morning. Good morning. Happy to be here. Well, the main concern these days with tobacco use is not with the smoking, but it's rather mm, vaping. We've right. been talking about this for quite a while. But there's a new survey. It found fewer high schoolers are vaping, but more middle schoolers are. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us more about the numbers and what you guys found? Yeah, so we've got some good news for America's high school students. Uh, we saw a decline in e-cigarette use over the past year from about 14% to 10%. Um, we also saw declines in smoked products among high school students, including cigars. Um, but the news wasn't all good. Um, we did see a slight uptick in overall tobacco product use among middle school students. Um, so all in all, uh, we got a public health win, um, less kids using products overall, um, but an important reminder that we've got to redouble our efforts to address this public health issue. And yeah. it also shows they're younger and younger. Yeah, which, which, which is seemingly a concern. If you get them, you know, it, it was always in the playbook of the big tobacco companies, get them hooked young. So, so what, what are the public health implications um, if young people are vaping and, and smoking? I mean, I mean we, we know what they are, but, you know, like with va vaping, you know, what, what are they? It's still kind of a, a new foreign thing to, to those of uh, older generations. When it comes to e-cigarettes, we know that they include nicotine, uh, which is a highly addictive drug. Um, we also know that nicotine exposure can harm the developing adolescent brain, which actually continues to develop till about age 25, so well into young adulthood. Um, and we also know that nicotine exposure can prime the brain for addiction to other drugs. Um, so ultimately, most adult tobacco users begin before the age of 18, and so it's a critical window. If we can prevent them from starting now, we can prevent a potential uh, another generation of, of adults that are addicted to nicotine and using tobacco products. Yeah, and Brian, what, you guys do these studies and you, you find out this research, you find out the numbers, but we know it goes so far beyond the numbers. What now? I mean, now that we know that it's starting younger, what do we do? Well, for FDA's part, we are not going to stand by um, and allow um, bad actors to prioritize profits over our nation's kids. Um, we have the authority to regulate tobacco products, and we are doing that. We have taken action across the supply chain from manufacturers to importers, distributors to retailers, um, particularly against those products we know kids are using. Um, this latest survey showed that Elf Bar, um, a disposable e-cigarette, is the most common among kids, and we have been pelting the marketplace with warning letters and civil money penalties against retailers and others who are selling these illegal products. All right, Brian King, director